the story. Stories, people, of nations, of the world, of yesterday and today, and the meaning they hold for tomorrow. for radio. The time on the four-faced Paramount clock said in quadruplicate that it is ten o'clock. And so, good evening to you, Queen of the Hemisphere. Four times, good evening. And by this time tomorrow, may the enemies of all free men's metropolises be more desperate and damned than ever. End of salutation. Let us acknowledge that you have a handsome profile, Steve, New York, and get that over with. Long ago, you were voted the most likely to see... And tonight, the 12th generation of Americans salutes you with special reference to the populace which takes you for its lawful address. The Manhattanese, Brooklynese, Astorians, Jamaicans, Bronxites, who think the rest of the world is all right with it, but who wouldn't want to live any place but here. This tapestry, being dimensioned by a half hour of your time and the arbitrary limits of the city, has for its warp the avenues, and for its west, the cross-town streets, the shuttle traveling back and forth as you'd expect between Grand Central and Times Square. As for loom, that's what ships do on the horizons of the city practically continuously, in which nation God bless our Navy and the ships of the Merchant Marine. So much for shuttle, loom, and west. Regarding individual threats, you will have to follow them by listening acutely. Well, there will be excursions and motifs, snatches of native song and speech, time signals, bulletins, reflections, and footsteps. To say nothing of the retirement of battles at first base and of ballerinas from ballet at the age of 40. However, the main design is in the middle and will be clear enough when you stand back and see the whole. The people of the city are the main design the names in the directories, but for the grace of whom the place becomes an empty mesa and a pincushion of stone, a petrified forest of forgotten dividends and cobwebs in the elevator shafts. What that design is, you citizens of sister cities, you heroes on the plains and uplands, sit still and listen. It well may be a special hope a pattern of felicity to you and to your kids. To fetuses conceived this month and next and ever after. That, as I say, comes later. But it's in the weave. If we'll stay and look it over with us in a certain light. Robert Montgomery in a uniform. So what do you want me to do, break a leg? Pick any street in the city from 1 to 241 and take it over to the laboratory for an X-ray. You will find on developing both the film and yourself that the corpus wears a top hat, though it's toe scout. That there are present all the elemental backbone virtues of the species, being neither better nor worse in this regard than Keokuk cross-sectioned. 
that sin and sickness appear as shadows on the plate. Nothing extraordinary about that, is there, Doctor? And that all the typical figurations of love, hate, fear, passion, tribulation, joy, grief, are clearly marked and evident. Do not underestimate these people, for they are you. Do not mistrust them because of their accent. For you yourself might be incomprehensible in Oxford. So I says to him, sure, I'll miss you. Like poison, I'll miss you, I says to him. You want to see how much I'll miss you? Just stick your finger in the pond at Central Park and then pull it out and look at the hole. One feature you will notice straight away is the congestion. From German Yorkville to outlying Latin quarters, Lebensraum is nil. This is true as well of the areas of Ritz and Paris de Foie Gras. For even on those avenues where finger bowls with lilies in them must precede the coffee... Have a spot of brandy, Edgar. The next-door neighbor breathes down your incinerator shaft. You can't get the real truth about it in an almanac. The guidebooks can go only so far. They're candid enough about how the local girl made good. But just where in the index is the guy who jumped out of a window because he couldn't take it? Take somebody to size, New York. The wind off the river may be an authority on conditions in New Jersey or even in Ohio. But what does it know about a meeting of stockholders at 1 Wall Street at 3 this afternoon? Total surplus and capital stock, gentlemen. What knowledge of shish kebab, stuffed grape and cabbage leaves available in the Syrian district? How can the Congressional Limited, which goes only as far as Penn Station, know about the beauty of the women? About the current exhibition of Cuban art about the politics of Williamsburg. Well, fight City Hall. That's what I says to him. He got no answer. How can you tell from seat number five on the plane from Pittsburgh what goes on here? Put your nose to the cold window and look out over the starboard wing. Already you're within the city, though it's still ten minutes to LaGuardia. There's the harbor, crinkled under the influences of a bland wind. The statue of Our Lady of the Freedoms, a green speck in the blue bay, and the downtown cluster of real estate standing cool and reasonable above the vapors. What can you tell from such an altitude of the clip joints and the subway jams and clinics, of cabbages in wholesale markets, and of kings in exile, of time? and of the river, of star performances at Hayden's Planetarium. Do you know anything of the historic nature of these parts? George Gershwin slept here. Of flower salesmen brightening the night. Get your dark genius! Get your fresh dark genius! Of exports and imports of the port, aside from ammunition for our allies and reverse lend lease. If you wish a very fine cacciatella, like a chini, or from a carta, just to come to V. Della Chiappa, 1275 Brico Street in Greenwich Village. Of the telephone exchanges, the Indians with feathers, Algonquin for... And fat old Dutchman. Stuyvesant, nine, nine, five, nine, eight. And Spanish gold. Eldorado, five, please. And Englishman at play. I'm calling Bowling Green, nine, 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 seven, oh. Salute au monde. Oh, Whitman. Whitman, of Manhattan, the sun. Where are you tonight, Walt Whitman? Call in Whitman, will you, boys? Sure. Whitman? Whitman! Walt Whitman! Hey, Walt! Whitman! Look for me under your boot soles. Oh, there you are. Walt, we ask of you a sentiment about this place. That's all we ask. Guess he didn't hear you. Uh, just a line that we can quote for our broadcast. A great city is that which has the greatest men and women. We thank you. We thank you in behalf of the conjoined creeds, the speakers of the foreign and the ancient tongues. Exode quasimus domine supplicum prece et potentium tibipartium cotus, but parte nobis indulgentiam revolus. Lord God of hosts, there are very many voters in this town. Your angels would be doing well to know the names of half of them. It is beyond the power of certified public accountants to follow all the comings and goings of the people. 
to and fro and up and down, especially on weekends and around October 1st. Only the Lord himself could tell just what a man from Harlem thinks this moment, riding downtown on the 8th Avenue Express. Yea, even the hushed transepts of the church might confuse any but the highest. What with the differences in ritual between the Seventh-day Adventist Ephesians, West 123rd Street, the Abyssinian Baptists, 138th, and the Chinese First Presbyterians, 31st Street East. sleeping in the front room. Rose, well, well, let's stay out here on the steps a while, huh? I have to punch a clock on Canal Street at nine in the morning. Well, how about me? I have to be back at camp. Well, all right, Ted. Just for a little while. Yes. But you'll get lipstick all over you. I'll take that chance. The season of spring has returned from a winter in South America and has already had certain intimacies with the trees of the public and private parks, as well as with the flowers and grasses thereof. It has also appeared in various guises, mostly beguiling, but occasionally overcast, with prevailing northeasterly winds. However, on sunny days, somewhat hazy in the morning, clear by noon, it stands leering outside office windows, it fishes for pennies in the gratings of subways and is generally pleased with itself, all the way from the Canarsi marshes to the Yonkers line. Well, I finally told him. What do you mean you finally told him? He says I only develop an interest in an individual if he happens to be socially conscious. Play me that some nice. Well, personally, I think it's a compliment. It's a privilege to be socially conscious. Certainly, after all, it's a very important time in history. Well, sure. History's being made. Every day. So I said to him, I told him, Harry, you should read more. Oh, Charlie, what's the score and who's in there pitching? Come on, Charlie, give us a flash from the ballpark, where the crowd is hearing a base hit to right by Mahul, sending Buxton home with a tying run. Oh, yes, Charlie. It's well to relax when the fellow needs to get out. But will you not turn to the young Jew beside you, he being a flyer of the Bronx home on convalescent leave, and cheer him for making a base hit, too? The game is almost over, bud. And the old stars are ahead. Nicaragua, Colombia, the Argentine. 200,000 people speaking Spanish. A city pan American within a city plain American. And further up line. I got em, I got em. I got nuts, I got tenders, I got hoovers, I got em. Peanuts, tenders, hoovers. I got em. Negro got Harlem em. listens to I a street cry. And it hears a boogie-woogie piano playing a little original composition down there in the Ace of Clubs. But it ain't just song and honeysuckle, neighbor. It's a place of homes and shops, and it contains the biggest Negro concentration in the world. And if you take the trouble to go down and interview the older ducks and slips along the island, they will... If they like you, 
point out the ghosts of rusty weather piers, where once fat, crowded slave ships put in from profitable hunting grounds of Africa. How many wars ago? Off these same Manhattan shores tonight, the warships of the Union ride at anchor, and men of Harlem are aboard. <laughs> When you hear the musical note, the time on the four-faced Paramount clock, speaking only for the local zenith, will say, without prejudice of any kind, that it is 20 minutes after 10. I got a V letter from my boy in India yesterday, and he says he visited the Taj Mahal, but for his money, it doesn't come up anywhere near to the Empire State Building. In three-quarters of a million New York windows of all sizes and conditions, the service star gives notice to the passerby that each has sent a delegate to the convention of the nations with instructions to shoot on sight. Fire and blood are first on the agenda. And participating in the various contests, east side, west side, all around the world, is the Swede from Bruckner Avenue. Hey, will you tell Holder to send me a picture of the baby? Here, I got a kid two years old, and I ain't even seen him yet. And the muscular Greek corporal from 25th Street... Look, when you go back, will you tell them what we'd like is Dinah Shaw records and a transcription of a Fred Allen show? Personally, I'd appreciate a couple of snappy pin-up girls and a good, hot, vicious defather. Oh, G.I. Joe of Manhattan, the son. Your father came to the city on a big white ship. Or a dirty tramp. Or a cattle boat. And the ship had a name. You have slipped down the Hudson in the night on a gray ship, nameless. The hour likewise anonymous, the compass bearing sealed inside an envelope. The city of immigrants has emigrated to the wars. The Borscht and the Pastrami, the Feinkuchen and Smorgasbord, patiently await the last communique. Americans on this wavelength. Can you make out the bright green threads among the lesser colors in this tapestry? The interwoven hopes of those who turn the turnstiles? Dreams held by commuters to the well kept lawns of Scarsdale and of Greenwich? Tune in on Sunnyside. Canvas the gas house and the garment district. Take a poll of visions on Park Avenue, Hell's Kitchen and the Bowery. You will see. They're not so far apart. Just hold the hopes up to a light one at a time. From Lennox Avenue, for instance. I just want my boy to come home, that's all. And with the war won, so it'll stay won. From Townman Street near Jay. I'd like to see my way clear to be able to afford a bathtub in this house. From West New Brighton. Won't it be grand to be able to fly in from Westport every morning in a helicopter? From 9th Street and Avenue D above the garage. The whole city. If it could only look like the park along Riverside Drive, huh? Roller skating and handball and tennis courts and grass and trees. And all new houses instead of these old tenements. Boy, wouldn't that be something. From Sutton Place South by the whistling tugs. Just think, Paul. Your branch office in Shanghai... 36 hours across the North Pole. Pelham Bay to Liverpool in 12. Can a song of hope be sung by the graduating class of TS-186? Arranged for symphonic orchestra and choir and performed at Carnegie? Danced to at Roseland? Given the works by Miltor at the Met? Could be, gentlemen. Could be. Many a hit tune has come from Broadway. Uptown on the downbeat, lads, and take it away! <laughs> City of Ginsburg and Garibaldi, Kozlowski and Lopez. What are you doing on St. Patrick's Day? Marching, of course, down Fifth Avenue. And what are you doing on San Gennaro's Day? Dancing, of course, along Mulberry Street. The rumor being there are more Italians in New York than in Napoli or Roma or Firenze. And the candles on this day 
This year burned brightly for the martyred saint. And though the sweetmeats would be sweeter far, if Frankie and Pasquale were home, they taste pretty good as they are. This would be the Virgin Mary. And on Bastille Day, the French Republic's Independence Day, hardly a fortnight further into summer than our own, the tricolor is flown beside the flag that Lafayette, a Lend-Lease general, helped us to get started. Whereas Hungarians and Czechs and Germans, Hindus, Balkans, Portuguese and Danes, they have their little cities within the city too. Their churches and their restaurants and gift shops, movie houses, newspapers and foreign language programs on the radio. Is there by any chance on the island tonight a visiting fireman from Kansas City who knows somebody in Washington with connections in London? If so, would he kindly take a message to the next peace conference? The one that G.I. Joseph of 82nd Street is at the moment fighting to arrange. And see that there is smuggled in among the representatives the mere hint of the barest memorandum of a notion. Something for their scratch pads to be scrawled upon and doodled over during deepest thought. A mark. A democratic imprint. A U.S. figuration. A Yankee doodle. This is what it is. Here in the tall city with the British name, the people of all nations checkering the numbered streets, having come from Warsaw and come from Plymouth, Klein Badine and Chunking, having come from Africa and Oslo and Caracas, having worked and played and voted, loved and listened to the radio, fought in wars and paid for them as well, having kept their customs and their languages, having played their own sweet music on the fiddle and accordion, did nevertheless find time to rear and populate the greatest city in the world and make of it a symbol celebrated up and down the longitudes. You see, it can be done. Yes. Yeah. Make a note of that. It can be done. You have it on the solemn word and deed of all five boroughs, gentlemen, that nothing is impossible. Do but consult the main design and see in miniature the nations living side by side so effortlessly that no one calls it peace, yes. Block to block and house to house and door to door, they get along. With scraps the times, a little botheration such as happens in the best of families, but never anything a court or free election can't take care of. Now then. You want to buy a rug? Very fine. A bargain genuine American. Then take a look at this. Oriental in parts, but all the compass points come into it. And see. The main design. Is that a hope or isn't it? A hope that out of little people, greatnesses, and towering accomplishments, rapid transits to tomorrow morning, and fraternity along the Grand Concourse. Ahoy, the century ahead! Announced in lights above Broadway and posted in the public library. Workers, lovers, kids and patriots near and far along the mainstream and lesser eddies of the network. Greetings from the city! Greetings! Greetings!
Armed Forces Radio Service has presented This is the Story, a story called New York, a Tapestry for Radio. The script was written and directed by... This is the story was a presentation of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education. Thank you.